joining us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Chicago Cubs taking on... The Just about set to go now. And on the hill here today, Aaron Nola. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. And it's even up. Nola's a guy who registers a lot of strikeouts. In fact, he's had 220 or more strikeouts in three different seasons. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Ball, no. That's inside. Now two balls and a strike. And one thing about Nola Boog, just outstanding command, really sets up that breaking ball to expand the zone to get hitters for that swing and miss. You think about it, in 2022, he walked 29 guys in 205 innings. That's pretty incredible. Dansby Swanson stands in. Two for seven in the series so far. Out towards right center field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Welcome back. And on the hill in this one, Drew Smiley. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just oh. having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some ah. hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. That's out to center field. Knocks it down. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Look, I come back to that... The Cubs team. Thank you. Got him. One away. Here's Harper now. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. And the pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. He was all that over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So now one and two to Reese. And that one is lifted in the air. And it drops in. And that's going to get into the corner. One runs in. Now the second run is in. And they take a two-run lead. And he's got a two-run triple. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Flaring it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit. But the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. Kicks and deals. Base hit, center field. In comes the runner from third, and they lead by three. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And now it's going to be Garrett Stubbs. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitch. Over to Swanson. He turns it. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Three runs. Back here in Philadelphia. Bellinger up to hit. The line of the pitch. Swings through that one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering misses. It's two and two. And the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive.
And he deals. Ground ball to Bohm. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he'll pull into second safely. Come on. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom. No. Wisdom started after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. And a pitch. And another ball. When it... And a swing and a miss. And one away. Now, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's All clearly good. a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. The 2-1. Base knock center field. Bellinger coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. The run comes in to score from second, and it's now a two-run game. And he's got a double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got yeah. into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Jan Gomes waits. That's the third. They get the tag on him. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Edwin Rios here. Come on, Eddie. Edwin Rios. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit. Slightly up, slightly in. Spoils that Save one, it. and it remains two and two. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And caught on the warning track. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a three. Back at Citizens Bank Park, bottom half of inning number two, and digging in for Philadelphia, Edmundo Sosa. Oh, gets dirty, but no chance. That's an infield single. Here's Jake Cave now. The pitch just missed, and a swing and a miss. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Brooke, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious where the adjustments need to be made. And it gets by him. <laughs> this is Bryson's stop. Here's a tapper towards short. Swanson. One and second, and he'll be safe at first. And now it's Alec Bohm. Reached on an infield single his first time. Slice to right, and foul ball. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. This one popped up. Magical on the move. And there's two away. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Ball. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Strike. And that one clips the corner. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. The two outs still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have a good pitch. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. And welcome back. Top yeah, half Chris. of the third Stay inning. Hot. Down the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Grounder Morel. off the pitcher. Slings to first. And a quick out number one. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's Nick Madrigal. He's 0 for 1. Next pitch has popped up. 
Stott over to first Got in time. Down. Two up, two down. Ian Happ up to hit. The wind and the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Cave makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And the Back here, Citizens Bank Park, set for the bottom of the third. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryce Harper. Got him. And that's the first out. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He tripled and scored his first time. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch has popped up. He makes the grab two away down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. In there. And so now one and two. And that's outside. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. Throw not in time, and he's safe. The effort from both players involved in this play just really stands out to me. I mean, you got the diving stop at Shore, which was outstanding. And how can you not love the hustle flying down the line? That's just great base. Swings through it for the K. Gassed it right by. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Now fly ball to right center. Marsh calls it in, and there's one away. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. So now one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. On the line, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. At the play, Patrick Wisdom. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And there are two outs. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. One and two here. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's a new fastball. Here's a 1 1. On the ground. And that chance handled. One up, one down. <laughs> so digging in, Jake Cade. One for one with a single so far. A little out front there as he swings through it. Now a screamer into the outfield. Bellinger makes the grab. That's out number two. Here's a speed threat. Bryson stop. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. And that one missing low. Comes a 2-2. Bounce to the right. Wisdom. He takes it on his own, and the Phillies are set down in. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Good piece of Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now it'll be the Cubs to the H. Edwin Rios, 0 for 1 so far. And now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. The pitch. 
squirts away a little bit. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a Ooh. tough pitch to lay off of. One, Next two. offering is in for a strike. And that oh. one is inside. See, it? The 2 2. Fights it off. He'll see another. Gomes stands at first with one out. Comes to Barn, Bruce Tong, Grant Hall from the Dodgers. And a pitch. Oh. Off the mark there. Full count now. Full count. You're sending me on. Let's make something happen here. Runner, Runner on the goal. Rift in the right Runner. center. Runner. And that should be extra bases. Gomes headed home. He will score. And it's a one run game. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to pop with so many. And now this is down for a base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Next to hit, Ian Hatt. Got it by him for the K. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Dansby Swanson, the next Cub to hit. And that's downstairs and outside. In the air to left, down the line. K under it. Brings it in for the third out. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. The next pitch misses. Ball three. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far. He goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. The next offering misses. And now it's three and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And that one is lifted in the air. Suzuki makes the grab, and that's the inning. Phillies back here in Philadelphia, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger, remember, in 2017, he won the Rookie of the Year, hit 39 homers, and that set a National League rookie home run record. Next pitch downstairs, two and two. Yeah, Boog, a tremendous athlete. He won the Rookie of the Year as a first baseman, plays center field with the tops in the game, and he's got a gold glove and right. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And now the first baseman, Patrick Wisdom. 1 1 now. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Whatever you want. Next pitch, not close, up high. Do you have bandanas to do? No. You're Good eye right there. You're running out. What do you need? Oh, uh, waiting. Pay off pitch. I don't know if you have anything to do. Yeah, there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because yeah. if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, you can hit a home run. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Matt Strong. He last pitched two days ago. I don't mind watching her. I love you. Next one is off the plate, it, it? and the count is three and one. At the belt and fires. This one high in the air to left center. Kate drifts towards it, brings it in, and there's two away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just mm -hmm. makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, right Just side. Right Harper has a beat on it. No sense. He's there. He's got it. And that's the third out. And welcome back. Bottom of the six. So here's the Phillies DH. Garrett Stubbs. Strike two. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. He really settled into this outing nicely. On the ground to the left. And that one is lifted in the air. Hap heads towards it. Makes the catch. One away. And stepping in is the speedy Edmundo Sosa. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Up the middle, they get the force. That is the inning. One, a new arm into the game, the righty, Andrew Bellot. Edwin Rios getting ready to hit. That one missed. Good eye. The two one. Yeah, that oh, skips in the dirt. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Yep. And now a full count. Uh -oh. Full count. High fly ball, right field. Harper has a beat on it. <laughs> Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Christopher Morell will hit next. And the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Two balls, two strikes to two count ball. with two outs. Two Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Connor Brogdon up and throwing. Oh. 
lifted in the air okay. right center field. Harper Ooh. makes the grab on the run. Three up, three down. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the seventh. And here is Alec Bohm. John King into the game. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. It gets down, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Marsh. And here it comes. Going to count one and two. Well, they kept it pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. The pitch. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One out. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, but get back on track. His team needs him. Checks his swing. Now with a peel to third. No, he held up. And it's filled up. Calling oh, this count. Runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, dude. And that's a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Over to Swanson, beats him despite the long throw. Well, wow, this is one of those plays that happen sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Adrian Sampson on the pitch out of the pen here. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Swanson. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's yeah. safe. Yeah. So first and second with two outs. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Somehow. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Gregory Soto. He's been so good against lefties. Ian Happ digs in now. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. A wide to kick the pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Payoff pitch. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Harper puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. And the batter will be the shortstop. Dansby Swanson. One down. Base is empty. That's a little bit low. Movement in the bullpen. Connor Brogdon getting ready to go. Ground ball up the middle. And he can't come up with it. The hit. So now it's the four hole hitter, Cody Bellinger. On, one Cody. for three. In the air to left center. Marsh on the move. He's got it. And there's two down. Patrick on, Wisdom, Patty. the next Cub to hit. Next pitch inside, and a count two and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Way high there. And now three balls and a strike. Step off, throw to first. Swanson back in standing. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. And now the lefty. Ripped to short. They take the force out. Out number three. Bottom of the inning. And now for the Phillies, Garrett Stubbs.
One, two now. And that oh. just misses. The 2-2 two -two now. And there's a the ball. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left-hand hitter waits. And he hits a ground ball right side. Now the throw to first on the run. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. A well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Check swing, no appeal, and the count two and one. Ground ball left side. In time to wisdom. And that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Check swing went around. And now three and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Let's go, Let's finish this one back. So remaining in the game defensively, Nick Castellanos. Okay. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. Yeah, the righty deal. Shot back to the mound, and he gloves it in plenty of time to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Here's Jan Gomes. Ball to strike. That clips the corner. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Connor Brogdon preparing to come on if needed. Next pitch misses inside. Two and two. Well, that two seam fastball is a great pitch from a right hander to a right handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. And now it's filled up. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. When it young. Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball and it remains a good full battle, count. Just through somehow. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And there's two away. So now here's the DH. Edwin Rios. The pitch. And a count one and two. Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the nine. Here's the second baseman. Bryson Stott. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Alec Bohm. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Hard hit, base hit. And the winning run is aboard. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Brandon Hughes. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Left-hand batter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And now here is Harper. And the pitch. And there he goes. Ouch. That one drilled him. Safe at first. And now after the play, we'll check on the lefty status. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. 
Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Winning run and scoring position with two away. And the batter ball. now is Reese Hoskins. Two ball, one strike. Hot shot to third. Inning over. Oh. Now into the ball game on defense, Dalton Guffrey. He's the new third baseman. Now playing third. On to extra innings. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morell. The one-one. And that one missing low, stirring in the Phillies bullpen. Connor Brogdon up and loosening in the pen. Alvarado, the left-hander, also throwing. Mm. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at-bat going. Next offering way off the plate. Ball to the right side. Two in a row set down to start the chance. The left number eight. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder in half. And here's a three two. This one in the air center field. Marsh moves under it. Makes the catch and a goal. So coming into the game now on defense, Nico Horner. He'll play second. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Phillies. Now this one should score a run and be good for extra bases. In comes the winning run, and the Phillies walk it off in extra innings.